everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Lisa if you're new around here and today I've got an Ikea haul for you I think this is actually the first video sit down video in this house because the rest of the videos have been vlogs recently but of course I love a little Ikea trip and we were able to go to it the other day so I'm going to show you what I got of course it's nearly Christmas so the first thing that I bought was a Christmas tree. Now I love this. I actually saw some online from, um, I can't remember what shop it was now, but it was about 30 pounds. And I thought, oh, it probably won't get delivered in time. So I didn't bother ordering it. And luckily they had one in Ikea for 17 pounds. I've already put some little lights on it just to show you. Look how cute this is. It's just in the boys' playroom downstairs, but I actually keep moving it around the house because I just love it. I wish I bought more now. It's just a cute little tree to get out every year and just be nice and festive. I usually have like the warm white lights, but I actually really like the cool white. These have got little reindeers on them. They're so cute. Those are not from Ikea, but I also got this little tin to go in it as well, or like little plant pot. And it's just got a little heart on it. So you can see that there. I think that was around £1.75, something like that. You know what I'm like? I can never find the prices on these things, but if I can find them, then I will let you know later on. Where should, should I go and put it somewhere? Hold on. I've just put it behind me because I just like the lights. I think they're cute. So yeah, got that. Cute little Christmas tree. It's really nice when it's like naked as well with no lights. I just thought it looked really, really lovely. Comes in a little black pot. You don't need the pot if you want to keep it like neutral. But I do like um, a festive red in the house. So I also got this. This is a Strala. It's like a little light basically. You need two AA batteries for it. And it's like a little ornament that you can use in the house. It was on sale again. I can't remember. I think this is about six pounds, something like that. Get it out and have a look. They had a bigger size as well. I think this is a smaller one. I just thought it would look nice on the mantle or anywhere that I want more lights. You can never have too many lights, can you, at Christmas time? I just have so many. So this is what it looks like. Looks like a little bell, don't you think? It's so cute. I don't know if it's got any batteries in. Please have batteries. No, of course it hasn't. Of course it hasn't. But anyway. That is what it looks like, a really cute ornament that you can actually keep out all year round if you like to have little twinkly lights. I think this is really, really pretty and beautiful. So I got that. In here, you're not going to be able to see it. Basically, this is like one of those little shelves that you can get for books for the kids. I thought I could put this up in Orlando's room or put it downstairs in the playroom. It's just one of those like little wooden bookshelves basically it's called the flissat can you see it there that's what it looks like it's just a little wooden shelf it was in the kids section so i'm thinking it is a bookshelf could be a spice rack or nail polish shelf there's so many hacks with these little things i've seen so many of course i picked up a few more faux plants because every time i go to ikea i get faux plants these have got a little christmas touch to them look how cute these are they've got that kind of like oh what is this it's like a conifer do you know what i mean those branches bit of eucalyptus are they both eucalyptus i'm not sure but i just really liked the little festive touch so i got two of those that's what i bought the two tins for these like red ones for these plants to go in i don't know why i bought two really but i thought that i'll always use them around the house and actually mark did suggest that we could use them on the table for like christmas day when we do our christmas table setting which i thought was actually a really lovely idea so we've got two of those again i'm not entirely sure how much these are but they're never that expensive they're probably around four pounds, three pounds, something like that. The reason why I actually wanted to go to Ikea was one for a piece of furniture, which I'll show you in a minute, but also I spoke about these in my last video and it's the Ikea Lego storage. The boys love Lego. They're absolutely obsessed with it. And I don't really have any storage for their Lego. It's all kind of just dotted around in random boxes. So I thought I would get them this and it is a Lego storage box. So you can put all of your Lego in there. And then if you can see on the top there, you can also um, build Lego on top of it, which I thought was really, really cool. They had a few different sizes. These were 15 pounds. I think I got two of the same actually. So they had one for 15 pounds, one for 12 pounds. And then I think they had a really small one for around six pounds. So I got two Ikea storage boxes, one for Vinny and one for Renzo because I know that they both love Lego. I thought that'd be a really good Christmas gift, like a useful one, but also one that they will definitely use a lot. Also, annoyingly, like we've made this kind of new tradition now, and um, actually, Vinny actually created the tradition because last year we bought the, the gingerbread house kits from Ikea, and I thought, oh, that'd be really lovely. We could do that at Christmas time. We ended up doing it on Christmas Eve. And then when I was talking about Christmas Eve to Vinny the other day, he said, oh yeah, we do our, uh, we do our gingerbread houses on Christmas Eve. So it seems to have become a tradition now. So he wants to do a gingerbread house. The only thing is, 
I got the decor kit, so I got two decor kits, but I couldn't find any gingerbread houses in there, so I don't know where I'm going to be able to buy them now. Let me know if you've seen any like in Tesco's or anywhere like that, so I need a gingerbread house. This is a decoration kit. I also bought two of the baking glues as well to obviously stick them all together. However, I did think that if we can't find a gingerbread house, I could just use biscuits and we can like make mini ones, which would be quite cute. So yeah, I got two of those for each of the boys. I Orlando will just help us out I suppose, he probably won't do his own one, so he'll do that with the kids. Whenever you go to Ikea you obviously always buy a dime bar, so I got some dimes, absolutely love these. I also bought the orange ones as well, they're already pretty much gone, so sorry about that, can't show you the packaging. But I got those, and then I also got these, they look quite nice, these are like, um, what are they called? Marabou dimes, um, they just look like little sweets, like dime sweets, so yeah excited to try those when i looked at the um sign for it it did say ginger flavored so i'm not entirely sure because it doesn't say that on here kind of hoping that it's not ginger flavored but we'll see but anything dime is always lovely isn't it and then the final thing i got actually not the final thing i'll show you the other bit in a minute i got these little trees which again i just thought these were so cute i got five of them they're only like one pound each in the sale i just thought these would be great to put around the house like either in the boys bedrooms in the kitchen on a shelf on like we've got like a plate shelf plate ledge downstairs we could pop them on there just to make it feel a little bit more festive and i thought for one pound you can't go wrong can you you can create a little scene with them oh i just love them really really cute so i got those absolutely love them but that was everything that i got from ikea i'm trying to think if i got anything else i don't think i did basically we went there because i wanted to get those lego boxes also wanted to see if I could get some oh I got a table and chairs actually for Orlando which I'll show you downstairs it's in the playroom because I wanted to get him a table and chairs I wanted to get those lego boxes and then also the night before I decided that maybe oh, sorry I'm wobbling you there also the night before I decided that maybe I wanted to get like a chest of drawers to go in the bedroom in here because basically I've been living with my clothes in boxes I've put all of Mark's clothes away in a set of drawers that we had um, which is those ones there and obviously we've got loads of stuff in our wardrobe as well but everything else that I had folded before I had nowhere to put so I was like oh should we just buy a cheap chest of drawers so we've got it and we're not in a rush then to do the wardrobe although we probably will do that when they have things in stock because I want to do the packs wardrobe again so anyway when I was in there I saw the Malm dresser that they've got in there they've got like big Malm drawers we've always had Malm furniture it really reminded me of like all the times that we've moved because we always seem to buy Malm furniture and it lasts really really well Vinny's still got some um have we got the other ones we've got another set of mound drawers which is actually in the garage which mark uses for tools now so it does last really well and the drawers are really nice and deep so what i did was i got the big double set of mound drawers and i went for the white oak effect so they've got like a normal oak color and then they've also got like a whitewashed one which i thought would look really lovely in here i just thought it would be useful it was 115 pounds which i thought was great because it is a big piece of furniture and obviously it is useful so i thought that would be useful for now to put all of my clothes in here and now we don't have any more boxes left in this bedroom which is lovely because i can now get to the big bay window because it was all like in front of the window and it was so annoying so yeah boxes are gone and now i've got clothes in the drawer so i'll show you that now but yeah that is everything i got i obviously got orlando the table and chairs which i'll show you a clip of now while i'm talking about it i actually got this table and chairs for Vinny many years ago i got it in the baby blue color I wanted the little wooden table and chairs, but they didn't have any in stock. Obviously, everyone is going to Ikea at the moment, so they didn't have much in stock when it came to things like that. So I just went for this plastic set again. I got it in the white, and actually, it's really good, and it fits perfectly in the playroom. So yeah, that is really good little purchase. Lasts really well, looks nice as well, nice and sleek. And yeah, I'll show you the drawers now. So let me show you those. Okay, so this is the Malm chest of drawers that we got. Obviously, priorities, Mark had to get the TV up. When we moved in, we actually got this in, I don't know, when we got Sky in the house so he put the telly up there that that was actually in our old room years ago actually so we've had this tv for ages so he's put that up there for now and this is why i've put pictures here because as you can see there's a wire hanging down there's also an aerial behind here so for now it's fine this is a mound chest of drawers which is great it's got loads of storage and yes it is full already <laughs> but yeah it is really useful it looks good in here you know it fits fine uh eventually i want to have like a big set of wardrobes along here and they'll probably do the tv you know the hidden tv that we did in the old house so yeah that is something for the future but for now 
this works really well and you know it's stored on my clothes perfectly so I don't have to have it in boxes anymore so that is the end of the video guys I really hope you enjoyed watching it thank you so so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already see you all in my next video which will be on Sunday and I'm I think I'm gonna make it a nice Christmassy vlog for you so if you want to see a nice family Christmas vlog then come back Sunday and I'll see you all very very soon bye guys <laughs>